Greetings everyone, Anthony coming to y'all live today. I want to do a quick video about this planetary alignment that we have here in 2016. All right, so it's going to be a real short video. Everybody should see the value and benefits of what I'm going to say. Um, it's a lot of different knowledge out there about what's going on with this planetary alignment. Um, basically, for people who might be on the edge about it or might be confused, um, just to wrap it up in one lump sum, um, these are always going to be different alignments. Okay, let's just go ahead and get used to that right now. There's always going to be a form of alignment because why? Earth and the planet is always moving. We're always moving in etheric darkness throughout the whole universe, right? The whole heavens you know is moving you know so many planets we can't see beyond the main few that the ones that we know okay now the biggest thing with this planetary alignment you got to understand basically the characteristics of each of these planets first of all the planet each planet is a womb each planet is a womb because it holds life in them right so different planets different characters things like that so, for example, um, if you take the Mercury, which is communication, Venus, love, Mars, action, Jupiter, philosophy, and what was the other one? Saturn, um, um, cycles, dealing with the cycles, okay? So, basically, if you put all those things together, you can kind of like pretty much make like a sentence out of it. And pretty much those are like our action statements and things that's going on divinely right now. Now, a lot of these things happening because we are conscious and people are waking up. We are literally have influence over the planets. And yes, the planets have influence over us. You know, a lot of these planets have very, very ancient history. If you study the, the cosmic history. OK, uh, one major thing that I learned some time back, Earth is not just a spaceship. Earth is a time ship. Let me repeat that. Earth is not just a spaceship. Earth is a time ship. Study the law of time. You'll understand that the reason why we keep going through all these different planetary alignments and all these different things like this is because the level of consciousness that we're going through as a people, as, as a life force in this womb, um, is many ancient names for Earth. Earth is just not, you know, the name of the planet because Earth can be what you dig up. But there's many names that they used to call this Earth. You know, um, Tiamat, Terra, many names that I can't even know all of them, but, they can, but they're out there. You know, I'm sure people can channel many more ancient names. So basically, you know, there's nothing to get scared of. It's go ahead and get used to the fact that everything is always lining up because things are lining up in our DNA. So as above, so below, below, right? The macabre, the six point star. So go ahead and get used to all these things happening. Don't get every time a, a new alignment comes, oh, this, this is gonna happen. No, be at one, be at ease, be at peace. Know that everything is gonna happen because we as a people are making thing happen, things happen, right? And we have the power because we are made up of all things in the universe. So therefore, if we want to shift the planets, if we want something to happen to the solar system, all we have to do is collectively focus our intent and do them. All right. So now I'm going to give you a real quick thing you can do on your altar. If you take like a candle or uh, or let's say um, if you look up what different characters each planet mean, right? Like um, like Venus, for example, if you take Venus, get you a candle and get you some copper, right? And each one of these planets that's in alignment, put something that represents each of these planets on your altar to draw in that energy. Ah, But not just the physical thing, actually visualize your mind and visualize the alignment inside your pineal gland and it happening and it taking place, place inside you and it activating inside you, whatever that character is might be. All right. So we can do so, so many things. If if the if Venus is 60 degrees in this house, then put your candle 60 degrees in this house and put your something that represents Earth and where you at, you know, make your altar always change with the planetary alignments. All right. And you'll see how that works for you. All right. Peace and blessings. Love y'all. I'm out.